Hello, this is Siva from PR3 Systems, and this is a DataWorks demo. So first I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an introduction. So what is DataWorks? DataWorks is a cloud-based application for data prep and movement, and it's built to be simple and powerful. So the target audience is business intelligence and business analyst users. So the main uses of DataWorks is accessing, cleansing, standardizing, transforming, and moving your data between different databases. Now, you guys may be wondering, what is the point of DataWorks? Why do I want it? So often, tech teams receive requests for different things that can be solved by DataWorks. And these requests may take a few days to get to the tech team. The tech team may be busy, so it may take them a few days to actually get to it. And then it may take a few days to get back. So sometimes this process may last a week or even longer. Um, so we want to create a way that business intelligence and analyst users will have less dependency on the tech team. So now let's get on to the demo. So this is the interface of DataWorks. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is cr uh, click Create Connection. And when we click Create Connection, we see all the different options we have for different databases that are available right now. So let's say we want to choose something like an Oracle database. So when we choose Oracle, we can give it a connection name and a description. And then we need to give it the credentials to log in. And um, once we do that, we should be able to connect without any problems. I already have a connection created, so I won't do that right now. So let's go into Refine and Copy. In Refine and Copy, you click the, pick the connection name. And then you pick which container it's in. And I've created two data sets for this, for this demo. They're just two CSV files. So I'm going to want to click both of them and click Refine Data. So once that has happened, we should be able to see both of the CSV files over here. So this is the price and quantity one. So and then this is the item name one. OK, so let's go back to price and quantity. So I'm going to click this thing over here. This is called toggle metrics. So when we click that, we see the percentage quality. So you guys are probably wondering, why is this one 100% and why is this one 90%? That's because this has one missing value. And we can see that right over here. And the same case applies to date over here. So I also want to show you guys, DataWorks automatically identifies um, the column type. So over here, uh, DataWorks identified this as an integer. And it, ad it, identif and it identified this as a decimal this as another integer, and this as a date. So, and you can see it, it, it identified this as a war car. So let's go back here. Now, I want to show you guys some of the operations you guys can do now. Now, in this demo, we won't be going over all of them, but we will be going over a few of them. So DataWorks automatically suggests a few for you to do. So when we go into suggestions, you could actually remove the empty column row from column price. So what that's saying is it wants to remove this, this over here because of the missing value and remove this over here because of the missing value. So let's show that. Let's click both of these and click Apply. So pretty simple to do. So now you guys can see that those, those rows are gone now. And another cool feature I want to show you guys is when we click History over here, we could actually see what we did. And let's say that was done by mistake, or we don't want to keep that as a change. We can click the Undo button over here. So now everything is back to how it started. And the history is gone because that has been undone. So now let's go into each separate column. In each separate column, we will get different operations to do. So since this one is a integer, 
we will be able to do meth and trig on it, cleanse and type conversion. And when we have something like a date, we will be able to do date and time, type conversions, and cleanse. And then when we go to a something like a war car, we can do type conversions, text, and date and time. So I want to do a join on these two CSV files. So right now we want to go into table operations and click join data sets. So we're going to want to pick the join keys. So item ID, item ID. Now click join. And now we should also be able to see the item names. OK, so now we can see we have all the columns. And now I also don't want these missing, uh, missing values as well. So let's get rid of both of them. OK, so let's say I also want to filter out the, when the price is 0.99. So let's click on that column and let's click and let's click cleanse. When we click cleanse, we can filter the row. And then over here, you could see how much of each value we have. So let's say we want to see everything that's worth 0.99. And let's click filter. So now we could see only apples and peaches are both worth 99. And their quantity is 120 for both of them. Now let's go back and undo that. Now, I'm happy with the way this is right now. So I want to click Next and save it to my database. You also want to give this a name. I'm just going to name it Demo or Data Works. And now we're clicking our connection. And now we're going to click where we want to store it. And if we had some folders in there and files, we would be able to see them. And over here, uh, we can also choose what type. I'm just going to stick with delimited. And now you have the option of either schedule or run. So you could schedule it for a later date or run it right now. So I'm just going to run it right now. So now over here, you can see this is running. So over here, you actually see all the activities ha that have been done so far. This I did um, just today, and this I did a while ago. So you can see uh, what activities have been done. Um, so I did not go over all the operations. I suggest you guys try out the free trial of DataWorks and try out all the operations for yourself. And, but you guys can see this is an easy tool to work with. And the learning curve is very quick. And it can solve a lot of issues that you guys may have. So with that, I'm going to end this demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.